should be live. Um, hmm. I kind of just want to just do this. Okay, uh, just give me a few more seconds. Sorry I'm late. Uh, had some stuff to do before I... Before I could start streaming. Oh hello, welcome to the stream, Arsenal. Sorry I'm late. Trying to oh, here we go. Uh... Here's okay. hoping this works. I have a feeling it works. So, I'm playing. I'm going to be playing Fun Mission Two, obviously. But the thing, the thing with uh, Fun Mission Two is that although it has been fan translated, because Fun Mission One and Two have yet to be localized to the West, to English-speaking companies, um, it, it has been translated. However, not everything has been translated. So the things that haven't been translated are what seems to be in cutscenes. Uh, like very special cutscenes that use like 3D animation or whatever. Apparently that is not translated. Uh, so it's gonna be annoying, but I'm I will have a a text file. I have a text file ready uh, to read out anything that is, you know, not translated. It's annoying I have to do it this way, but... Eh, whatever. So that should be... There's no music here for some reason. I don't think... Mu does music usually play here? I don't know, actually. They did... The readme file did provide a YouTube link. So let's see if that works. Music is working, it's just uh, not on this particular cutscene. Video is private. Wow, okay. I mean, this is an old translation after all, so... Wow, there is nobody even... The actual original Fun Mission 2, not many people are even... There's not many videos on it for some reason. Alright, we're just gonna go. So, audio should be playing now. There you go. So, I guess, since I haven't played this... Oh, there's my cursor there. Since I haven't played this game in a while, I'm gonna go into tutorial mode. Oh, because... Because this is a Japanese uh, PSX game, uh, circle is the A button and X is the is the cancel button. Uh, let's not go into that. Actually, that's a bit too that's a bit too much. Let's just go straight into the new game. I'm sure they'll tell us how that will work in the game itself. So, so I got my I got my readme file ready. 
Uh, however, <laughs> see, the problem is they didn't put this text in the opening. Uh, they, they didn't put this text in the text file because they have it as a YouTube video, but the YouTube video is not available anymore. So what? I, okay. And no, I am not proficient enough to read Japanese. <laughs> this fast at any rate. Uh, something Nisi... What is that? V? I don't think... I don't even think that was kanji. And that was so fast too. <laughs> Look, I can't read that fast. Hoping that this has been patched properly because I remember patching it a long time ago and I got it working and I finished the game but it's been a while so also I had to like <laughs> get a new emulator as well I'm using Duck Station right now which is you know that's very fitting it's a very fitting emulator for me to use Before I was using EPSXE, which is very old apparently, so uh, I just upgraded to the the new and fancy emulator now. People's Republic of Alodesh. Once we'll get to later on in the game, that's not in the opening. Once we pass the opening, we can see stuff will be translated. Like you can see that the text in the map there was translated, so... I swear that this is patched. I think. So, we're just gonna go with his regular name. I remember this game actually being pretty slow in the combat uh, sequences. And the call sign, Ash. You can have different call signs for some reason, but I usually never bothered with that. I guess you can call Ash Maverick if you wanted to, because <laughs> that's the only call sign I know. Look at that PSX era graphics. Is your mind blown yet? Oh, look at that three. <laughs> look at that non 3D Wanza right there. That's obviously 2D sprites. Is our shift almost done? Yeah, almost. You're done with overseas duty in three months, huh? You're going back home? This font isn't easy to read. Yeah, I guess that's the plan. Must be nice. I'm stuck with another year in this shithole in the country. There's swearing here? Come on. Don't say that. Don't say swears. This country's not forsaken. <laughs> Quit joking, man. Sure, they talked about cooperative industry in the past. But nowadays, this country's just an abandoned rust belt. There is, um, I wonder if this, uh, there's a lot of context in this game that I am worried that I'll have to try to explain because, uh, I don't, I don't exactly remember every little bit of detail of the context preceding this game. Hey Ash, let's head to the hangar. Nice animation. Huh. Uh, that is sh uh, sho shoisu. Wait, sho shoisu. Wait, jo jo Joyce Joyce Joyce. Is that how you say that? <laughs> I think we can press confirm here, and then the call sign will be in uh, English. Oh, there you go. 
Hey! We're gonna learn some Japanese. Oh no, his name is Joyce. Like, oh, I'm not gonna be able to. Oh crap. Oh well. Uh, uh, we're way past the garden. We're way past the guard duty shift change. I want to sleep ASAP. Oh my, how rare for a womanizer like you to be to want to sleep all alone. Uh, a Amy, Amy, wait, Amy, wait, but that's an A, A. Amia, Emilia, like, what could the English name of this be? A, that's what I'm thinking. A Mia, uh, A Mia, A Mia. Hmm. I don't know. I, the only thing I could think of is would be Emilia or Amia. Okay, I guess they. I guess they uh, made it literal for this translation. That's fine. I don't know, a spinster like you was jealous of me? If you're trying to hit on me, don't be an asshole! Wow! Not PG friendly translation over here. Don't be stupid. I can't stand idiots like you. What's your type of man, Amia? It's gonna be funny to like read the English text and all of a sudden. There's just katakana, just placed in the dialogue. Uh, jo Jory, uh, isn't it? Yeah, it's could wait do do re fur. No, do wait. Is that right? Um No, oh wait, it's no, oh, it's it's a G, it's a G sound, sorry. Uh so gur grif grif So griff. Yeah, griff. Not married men like you, Griff. I'm gonna have to get used to Damn, I should have maybe I should change the name. I can't change your name now, but you know what? Let's just leave it like this. You're no fun. You're 30 minutes late, uh, Griff. Come on. Sorry about that. I was out for a bit. Business? Pretty much. Okay, I'm set. Go and get some rest. Yeah, it's good. It's a bit loud. It's a bit loud for me too, so I'm gonna that down a bit. Oh yeah, what are you doing when your post here? What are you doing when your post here is done, Ash? Ash is in a different. Is it like in a slightly different font to the regular text? Honestly, I don't know. Let's visit my wife's a uh, my wife's place. You'll love Fukuoka. Uh, Fu Fukuoka. Whoops, I said that wrong. Fukuoka. We'll see. That's in English. <laughs> yeah, I'm leaving it. Leaving with the uh, Kalakana might be the wrong choice. Griff, how's business? Yeah, so so. Let me know if you got something. Sure. Aladesh army? Yeah, we got Ranzas that need repairs. Six is quite a lot. They won't boot up. And in this an industrial country like Aladesh asking the OCU for parts. We're part of the OCU by the way, because it's it's like Oceanic something something. Let me like look up the acronyms because they're gonna I highly doubt they're gonna refer to the OCU and USN. Or is it UCN? I think it's USN. By like their full name, full acronym. 
Oceana Cooperative Union. We're part of that. So yes, there, there, um, there is like a. Uh, this this world is using like um, real life countries in a way, but they're like they're forming different unions, different alliances in this world. It's it's a bit like it's similar to real world, but not really. Is is that going for that kind of uh, world? Yeah, I know. Don't even have to check your papers or anything. Okay, head on in. Drop him off at Hangar 7. Thanks a lot. Huh, is that? I took a while to load. Um, yeah, so unfortunately the loading and I think battle sequences do take a while. If I recall correctly. So it... This game can be pretty slow. I guess it's like, I guess they're trying to load up the 3D animation or whatever. And you ca I think you can skip them too, so it's not, it's not going to be too bad. But uh, I do want to show like what they do in, in the actual fight scene first. Hey, sound the alarm! Got it! You could at least perform the check and you could check them for like if the Wanza is broken or not. Like what's the point of a checkpoint if you're not gonna check? Oh no! Why would you put missiles on a guy who uses melee? That seems like a really bad idea. Yes, he is holding a metal bat. Yes, that is a real weapon in this series. No, I am not joking. Crap! Oh shit, whatever. What is that? I'm like disinclined to say swears usually, but I guess I'll just pass for this. Bad words, yeah. I mean, it, I should not... Room. I'm gonna look up room and see what ha what comes up. Because it has to say Ash's room, right? I, like, that's that's the context. Yep, it, it, it is room. So... Hey yo. Hey ya. Hey ya. Hey ya. That is funny that how that's not translated. Yeah. Oh, this is the part where I have to bring up the... The text. Oh, well, I could use this opportunity to learn Japanese. Uh, but the thing is, I can't, I can't read this kanji. I wouldn't be able to figure that out. All right, time to read. The alarm. What the? Uh, nan, nanda, not wait. Is that Dakuten or is it a? That's it's ta. It, wait, so it's yeah, it's a. It has to be a Dakuten, so it's Da? But that looks like a circle, doesn't it? And with a circle, it's usually... You use... you have a P sound. And I... I'm gonna assume it's a... Ah, uh, okay. I see what the issue is. It's because, um... What it is, it's like two pixels... It's like two pixels signifying one line, and the two pixels are... Join together at the corners. 
and then they put another one right next to that line parallel to it like if it's hard to see but like that's one pixel and that's one pixel there and that's one line and then there's another line here with this one pixel and another pixel there hard to see but uh, i guess i'll get used to it uh so he's saying nan nanda so he's saying yeah what basically uh why is uh, what? Why is my, uh, controller not working now? Is it because I... What did I just do? Oh, my controller disconnected. Oh, weird. Okay, hold on a second. I can fix this. Rebind all... Okay, that was weird. Move to the hangar. Oh, Ash, this is bad. It looks like it's a, it looks like an assault by the Aladesh military. Why the hell would the Aladesh military attack an OCU base? Hmm. Ah, ah, ro, ah, ro, ah. Wait, ah, ko. Isn't it raw? Yeah. Aro Aro de Huh, okay. Ar Aro Aro de Sh Ga Do Do Shite or see you something something or something uh uh is it U? Is it U? Yeah. Unda. So, I mean, I could understand everything before, like, after. Anything after OCU, I don't really get, but everything before OCU, I get. So, Aladesh is like the. is what he's talking about as the identifier, whatever. And he's asking why. Why OCU something, something, something. And I mean the English tra translation supports that as well because he says why the hell would the Aladesh military attack an OCU base? I don't know right now. We've just got to join the fight. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna like try to read absolutely everything in Japanese, but uh, I, I will do it here every now and then Got it. Let's move out roughly. How many enemies are there? Uh, oh, there's more text I don't know how many, but there's onesies and some battle helicopters too. Okay, uh, let's save. Just in case something weird happens. If the entirety of Metabots... If Metabots was like translated... Oh, you didn't see whatever happened at the top there. If Metabots was translated, but all the text was in a readme file, or in a text file, like that would not that would not like turn me away i would still play the game but refer to the text uh to the text file i don't mind doing that at all uh we're not gonna do setup because there's no point doing that now you ready to go no uh Ar armia did say something oh i guess not i guess uh text file it doesn't include everything because there was some extra text when uh, Amia, Amia said something when I said no. Uh, Griff! They've taken out the bases, radar and comms. The others? Dead. I don't know, but squad four is down. Yeah, so basically dead, <laughs> whoever the others are. Oh no! It looks like they found us. Attack! 
now we're ready to play some strategy RPG. You guys love your strategy RPGs? Well, this is definitely one of them. <laughs> Alright, uh, I I don't remember if... Uh, no. No. Uh, I... Was it...? I seem to recall... Okay, so every fun mission game does it a bit differently, but I don't know if it if this is the case. It looks like um It looks like it's like Final Fantasy Tactics where each Wanza has their own speed and you have to you have to move according to a turn order and not it's the player phase and the etc. But maybe it is something like the player phase because it said player turn. I just don't know how to swap. Oh, there you go. I swapped just then. Oh, there you go. Okay. Here we go. No, it's it's just play a turn. Okay, so there's this guy right here. Amia and cute bird. We're gonna we're gonna go over here. And then we're gonna attack him. And then oh look at all these stats. So let me see which one I wanna use. So the, the Grenz is a rifle that attacks once and does 41 damage with that one shot. It has an 80% chance of hitting. Well, sort of. Um, it depends on the pilot skill and uh, the pilot, the mech itself sometimes. It has a range of one. And bullet is what you think it is. So you can see that the machine gun has a potential to do more damage because it does uh, 65 damage. Wait, 60 damage, sorry. Not 65. It does 60 damage, so more than the rifle. However, it's spread out across five bullets, and one of those bullets could miss. And also, those bullets can hit other parts as well. So for single targeting a part, usually the rifle is a lot better. But for pure DPS, uh, the machine guns are a lot better. That's how they balance that. Okay, let's go with the Dewey EX. We're gonna go for maximum DPS. So, uh, yeah. The game is loading. It's loading in the fight. They're gonna fight now. Super exciting combat sequence. Whoa, look at that. Look at him sliding around like he's trying to dodge! No, I got hit! Look, she's sliding! <laughs> yeah, the combat sequences are a little... Not... They're not tight. They just do all these movements that are t not really part of the... Like... It's just a lot of random movements that seem to waste your time. So I'm going to immediately, if I can, gain control. You do manual control, thank you. Uh, help out on quick battle, battle off. We're gonna do that because <laughs> uh, we're not gonna watch that for the rest of the playthrough. That's just a bit too much. I think Joyce has some missiles. Let's see. Uh, he does. It has a range of four to five squares, so it may be far, but it's like a very limited range. So we're gonna go. Uh, yeah, the camera's not too great, unfortunately. Oh, you can't use missiles because you move. Like, you have to be stationary before you can use missiles, I think. Uh, maybe not. But... So, if I move here, it's one, two, three. If I move here, it's four. Okay. Maybe I can't use it yet. I, I should have checked out that tutorial. Does this guy have missiles? 
No, he has a shield. Okay, go in then. You have a shield? Bam. Let's see how fast the quick battle is. So when you choose, when you're in the fight, you can choose to either shoot back or you can block or evade, which is bad because you never want to usually, you never want to just evade because that means uh, the only time you pick evade is when you can't do anything else, uh, which is if you can't do anything else, then you may as well be dead. So usually you want to like either shield or use a weapon. It's very rare that you want to use evade when you have other options. Uh, so I'm just gonna shoot her, shoot him again. Somebody help me! No, you're fine, Armia. Bam. Unfortunately, we won't be able to see the battle results. Uh, in uh, yeah, we can't see battle results until way after. So this guy's uh. I kind of wish that in, during quick battle it would show this the HP of each part and like see the you can see the HP go down but we're not gonna have that. So yeah his left arm is completely destroyed so whatever weapon he had on the left arm is is gone he can't use it now. Okay Joyce. Oh it does look like you have to you have to be stationary before you can uh, shoot your missiles. That's a bit annoying. Bam! And the good thing about using missiles is that you cannot... Uh, enemies cannot retaliate when you shoot them from long range. You know, it's very standard uh, advanced wars rules basically. You're gonna move here. I'm just still gonna get in on the action here. Uh, you know what? Let's do the rifle. Yeah, it's very oh, it's very exciting. Oh, nice! It's very exciting to watch the battle unfold. Oh no, no, it's it's not my AP. That's right, I forgot. I forgot this AP. So using. Using missiles costs 6 AP, so you can only move one square before you're allowed to shoot your missiles. Okay, that's how that works. I forgot. Okay. And attack with... I don't remember what the type is. What is this? Oh! This is a... Um... This is a bazooka because I can have a, I can shoot from an extra range. But you can see that the bazooka is uh, has only a hit chance of 60, so even less than the rifle and the machine gun. So I'm just gonna stick with machine gun. Bam! Ash got hit. He might have got hit bad because that was a single hit. Okay, he, he took a hit to the body. He's fine. He can take many hits like that. Uh, who's, what does this guy have? Okay, he's a melee with a shotgun. Um, shotguns in the first Fun Mission game weren't that good because they were pointless. Um, in here, I don't exactly remember. So what's 7 times 8 again? Uh, is it 56? I think it's 56. Uh, which is less than the machine gun, I believe. Because the machine gun was 60. Uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't be able to tell you why you would use a shotgun over a machine gun. Uh, this. So this guy's right arm and legs are heavily damaged. So that's when I actually want to spread the damage across all his other parts. So that I have a higher chance of destroying one of them. See, I just destroyed his legs. 
So because I destroyed his legs, that means his evasion is greatly reduced. So I can just, you know, I can just annihilate him now. But first, let me confirm the... Yeah, I was right. Yeah, using your missiles is dependent on your AP. I destroyed one of his arms already. That's pretty impressive. So... Oh, no. We're just gonna... Machine gun him down. Because all of his body parts are pretty low. So we're gonna... We're gonna hope to kill as many parts as we can. Because you don't want to kill the, the enemy immediately. You want to be able to destroy all the parts before you destroy the body. Because you get more XP that way. Okay. Griff, you haven't been doing any damage. So you're, go you're gonna just go in. Oh wait. For this section here. You know what? Let's watch this. Let's watch a mech whack another wanza. Just imagine this is Gundam Iron Blood Blooded Orphans. Holy crap, the loading takes so long. You can see why I would prefer to leave on quick battle. As non exciting as it is. Oh my god, look at that! He just did a random circle. Oh, nice sliding around, idiot. You didn't even dodge with your sliding. You need to learn the Fuwa Fuwa step. Now nah, look at him. He, he's just walking forward. He's not even dashing. He sucks. And he just ran away just like that. Yeah, uh... In later games, this... This, uh... These fighting sequences get cleaned up a lot better. I think in the... Uh, I think by three, I think they've cleaned up already. So yeah, this is a uh, this is the first time they've experimented with three D graphics at this in this series at least. So yeah, battle off. And we go with the rifle because if I do the uh, if I use a machine gun then I have a high chance of killing him outright which I just did I just killed him outright oh no I did oh no I sniped one of his arms so see because he has no arms he can't actually attack me anymore and this guy whose legs were destroyed uh, he couldn't move any further because uh, yeah if your legs are destroyed you can only move one square which is pretty rough uh, is it? There's no other enemies. I'm gonna go destroy the the trucks. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Free XP. I'll take that. Um, let me check your ammo. Yeah, you don't have any more ammo for your Plover M2. So you're just gonna have to go in and... Uh, I really do not like your weapon. So one of them is a shotgun and one of them is just your regular old hand. Uh... Okay, we'll make you use your shotgun. I guess it's fine. Yeah, I sniped both of his arms. This guy is so dead. I don't have any more water. I didn't prepare hot water before I started the stream, unfortunately. Okay, and... Oh, Amya is nearly dead. 
I wonder if I should just heal her a bit. I think I have some items in her backpack. So I guess when I move, I have a limited... I can't use items when I spend 4 AP, but when I spend 3, I can use an item. But I can't. I don't have items. Okay. Go over here. Yeah, the camera is not very... The, how the cursor works can be a bit annoying because it's, it's lifted above the square that you're selecting. So that can be pretty annoying for no reason. Like you can see right here, the square is not on the square itself. It's lifted a bit. I'm not sure why they made that decision, but uh, they did. Okay, and uh, then... Oh, Ash only has 3 AP. I wonder why. Oh, it's because there's enemies next to him, I think. If there's enemies right next to you, then you have less AP to work with. And I think you can have... Like, at, at a certain point, you just have not enough AP to even attack, I think. I'm not entirely sure that's true, but I uh, guess we'll see. I'm sure all of this is covered in the tutorial, so... Dead. Of course, if a if anything only has one body part to try and destroy, then oh they're running away. Then using the machine gun is actually better than the rifle because of the extra DPS that you get. So that is something to consider. So yeah, this driver here, I do more damage with the machine gun, so I'm gonna do that. Yay! Get faint! Not quite what I wanted. Oh, this... They don't translate the skills? Oh, that's... That's annoying. Uh... Cool. I kind of forgot that they didn't. Very... Uh, I feel like they could have translated the skills, honestly. Like, I don't see why not. I guess they ran out of space or something. Um, let's see. Just give me a second. Oh, excuse me. Nope, they're not gonna say. Alright, is this, is this my time to shine? Am I supposed to... Am I supposed to read the text and figure out what it does? Something no sukiru skill. Uh, is that hair? It is hair, right? Yeah. Hair no sukiru, sukiru hair no... Heno is a particle. Something... Oh, that looks familiar. Wait. Is that... Mm, hold on. Is that what I think it is? No, it's not. No, that's not. I thought it was like Sugi no skill. Sugi, ah. Oh. Sugi means. Oh, yeah, Sugi does mean next, yeah. I mean, I, I didn't recognize the kanji, but it, Sugi, yeah. Sugi no skill he no. I thought it meant like uh, activate, actually. But maybe I'm grasping for straws here.
No, I don't think so. Hmm. Is can I? Is that like how exactly would I look up this kanji if I have no idea how to write it? But like, want to look up what this is. There are tools for that, right? I think on your phone or whatever. I think someone mentioned that earlier in the chat somewhere, but I don't remember the name of it now. Uh, 50% uh, 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 you can search by radical. Okay, let's do it. Let's learn some Japanese. You guys ready to learn some Japanese? I am. Uh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Uh, wait. Wait a second. So, let's see what we got here. So the first one is this one. That's that. And then... It also has... Uh, this one. It's this one right here. What is that? Uh... So onyomi is re retsu. No, I I'm getting those confused. I I said before that I got used to the this katakana here, but I clearly have not. Ren, it's ren. The second list is grouped by number of strokes for the, of the rest of the character. Uh, yeah. And then, oh, that is hard to read. That's really hard to read. Um, maybe if I look up, the one on the right looks like it's easier to search for. Because it's like three boxes. You know what? Let's do this. I'll show you guys what it is and then you can help me look <laughs> you can help me look for this as well so there's this box uh, and then there's stuff on the top and there's stuff on the bottom Looks like there's three things at the top. Mm. I think it's this one. Oh yeah, it is. It is that one. Okay, so what is this? The second one is chains. Or lock. So, ku... Kuchiri. Kuchiri. Wait, no, kusari. Kusari. Ah! That's a Kusari? Which character? Uh, so I was looking at... Okay, is my mouse showing? Yeah, I was looking at this one here on the... I was looking at this one here. This is apparently Kusari. So... What's the first one? Ren... Ren... Uh, Sa? The Onyomi. Ren Sa. Rensa is chain series connection. Okay. What about the third character? The third character is going to be rough. We're learning some Japanese here. I know I could have easily looked this up, and I think that's what I did back then. Um, let's see. Uh, that's... What? I don't know how to... 
So it's a weird three box arrangement. Uh, but it's not, it's not like completely enclosed. Uh, huh. Really difficult. Mm, that's not quite it. No, the... Oh! Oh, I found it. So it's this one. Uh, and then... There's like a box right next to it. On the left. With like a T. There's a box right next to it. Or maybe I should look at the thing at the top, maybe. I can't even see... Part of the problem is I can't see the... The thing I want to find. Because I'm unfamiliar with the layout here. Uh, I'll just... I'll just copy what you... What you just typed in. Oh, that's a bit... Okay, so if I had looked up... Oh, I don't know. This is not easy. Oh, I didn't even see that part. Ah, okay. It's a bit weird because... Part of the line of the... Okay, here, I'll show you, I'll show you. Here, so part of the line... Part of the lines in these boxes here, this one here extends upwards into this line up here. That's what confused me earlier. Yeah, okay. So if I look up this... Uh, this is Assurance Firm Tight Hard Solid Confirmed Clear Evident. The on your me reading is Ka Kaku Kaku uh, or Ko Ko. Is it Ko? Or is it Yeah Ko Kaku or Ko? And then the the remaining character is that one there. Uh, so it's a wide plus. It's a wide plus. But it's only a Y because it's that small. Uh, what if I put in that? And then... There's like something in... In the middle of... I feel like that's comprised of three radicals. I think. Uh, maybe it is just a wide plus. No, I didn't find it. So not that. Maybe the wide plus is a part of something. It's the top part, two strokes. So what does that mean? The top part, two strokes. Uh, 
So I clicked on this one. And then what now? There's like two things branching off. Or four things branching off to the sides. Not that one. This one? No, not that one. Hmm. This is pretty difficult. I don't think it's that. I'll show it again. The one you have selected is three strokes. Oh, so it's not even this one. The radicals are ordered by a number of strokes. It's a, So the top part is two strokes, is what you're saying. Oh! That one. Okay, okay. We're getting somewhere. And then... The... There's like a plus, right? Uh, and then there's some, there's like, what? The blue bit at the top is also ordered by a number of strokes for the remainder of the character. Uh, yeah, yeah, I got that part, yeah. But what is that in the middle there? I don't know how to read that. Oh. Oh! Found it, I found it, I found it. I found it. It's this one right here. What is that? Rate, ratio, percentage. Uh, so... Kakuritsu. Kakuritsu. Ritsu. Oh wait, this one's... No, that's... that's Sotsu. Sotsu or Ritsu. Kakuritsu. Probability. Chain series connection. The, the part you get after selecting the radical is ordered by a total number of strokes for the whole character. Oh. So, Kaku... Wait. 